Hey, beautiful friends. Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie. You're catching me before my morning walk. So this is kind of the wake up look to getting before getting outside. I'm also sneaking in a cup of coffee. So I hope you are doing well. I'd be interested to hear how things are coming up for you because I feel that's the, the right term coming up for you when it comes to uh, your thoughts, maybe even your emotions around um, situations, maybe situations from the past, especially with Mercury, because this is where I'm going, with Mercury in retrograde in Aries. There might be a little bit of fire going on inside, maybe some self-talk and things like that that may uh, come up. So just something perhaps to work through, uh, not necessarily be out out loud vocalized but maybe you know an introspective aspect um something that you need to connect to for yourself to support yourself through the journey or just something you just need to release so i don't know maybe shouting in the pillow journaling going for walks something to get the energy out of you because i feel like those things may come up for you um yeah so something to consider there i am going to start off with the sacred um creator deck airy season it is about yes creativity but the fire and passion more than anything behind it uh, to really take charge aries i think emperor energy so this is about you your life moving forward in a really strong way so let's connect in and see what spirit wants you to know with these sacred creators and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper on the rest if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel it really supports us to stay connected, connecting to each other's energy, you know, the beautiful exchange. And if you haven't already connected to our free membership, please do if you are looking to support your soul growth, if you are looking, you know, next chapter we're really diving into is releasing things from heartbreak that may be, you know, slowing you down or not allowing you to move forward the way that you want to, to reconnect, you know, just into this beautiful life, create this beautiful future that you desire, whether it's with someone, whether it's not with someone, whether you want a deeper a connection, um, but there's fears and challenges that are coming up. So if that's something you're interested in, it's the second link below. And for our extenders, it's the first. All right, guys, let's have a look what first comes up. Get back to elemental. I'm going to read that um, because I've just gone blank with what that is, but it's talking about the elements um, of the earth, the sacred flow of yes. We all like the sacred flow. So let me just read, get back to elemental because I, it's number 48. I do feel um, there is something here. Yeah, it's time to bring some elemental magic into your life, getting outside. And that's what I felt it was, getting outside. It's kind of that touch and feel of the earth's energy. Um, doing something wild, letting go of who you believe you have to be and stepping into your elemental self. It's breaking free of pragmatism and logic. Um, a time to explore the world with a childlike curiosity, getting past the fear of change and the fear of trying new things. So... I do feel this is very relevant in this energy right now. So soak it up, um, Pisces, really soak it up. That version of you that wants to explore, that version of you that may be holding back a bit, you know, because the sacred flow of yes, I feel that the more that you connect into these parts of yourself and your life, um, things will naturally flow because you're living your authentic life. The spark of hustle. So for some of you, I do feel this is a lot about Again, that part of ignition, what you're igniting within yourself to really move forward and to really create. Yeah, just really create is what I'm getting. Um, I'm feeling a lot of Empress energy as well in terms of the creativity uh, with Mars. So that makes sense. Emperor, Empress, it's kind of the energy that I'm feeling. So you might ebb and flow between that of um, the parts of you that really need to take charge and then the parts of you that are simply showing up and being present, you know, and connecting into your intuitive parts of you um, and feeling lit and excited for the, for what is and the possibilities of things. 
And then you've got overrate your intuition. And I think it's so interesting. It's talking about overrate, which is don't ignore it. What you're feeling, what you're connected into, don't ignore it. Um, there's something powerful in what spirit is connecting with you. And intuition can come and relate to so many different parts of our lives. And we can feel it in different parts of our body um, as well when it comes to our intuition. So while it can be the download, it can also be the feeling around something. So trust trust them both. Um, journal too, perhaps for some of you, if you, are, um, you get quite vivid dreams. Uh, I definitely feel that's also something really important to pay attention to right now. But yeah, trust, trust how you're feeling about a situation. I know with this eclipse energy <laughs> coming up, this solar eclipse, Mercury and Aries right now, um, there's a lot going on because you've also got Venus. Uh, I was just looking at a whole bunch of stuff for Pisces yesterday, um, last night actually, just before wrapping up to go to sleep. But that, yeah, there's, there's, there's so much power right now that is focused on your finances, that is focused on where you're meant to be going next, Pisces. So it's not something to be ignored. And I feel it's also important to start paying attention to people in your life and how they're making you feel and acknowledging that certain people have a certain place in your life and certain people don't. And this is a real time to be okay with choosing that for you. And what I mean that is what that means for you. Do you want to take off? Do you want to stay where you are? Do you want to be held back? Like where are you at in your life that there's some things that are now becoming non-negotiable for you? And I feel that's really, really important. It's not easy, but I think... Who was I listening to? There was a, um, a podcast I was listening to that it was about um, musicians and how certain musicians back in the day, top musicians, had to um, were kind of kicked out of their group, so to speak. And I mean, these bands are like massive. And the people that kind of got kicked out from two different groups operated differently. One operated in a way that they were in competition with the group they left. The other person who left, I think one was the Beatles and one was Metallica and I can't remember their names, but in saying that these people got to choose their path forward. One decided to be competitive, to compete with a band. The other person decided just to live their life and what made them happy, not worrying about the external parts or trying to be something or be someone. It became mis misery for that person to try and always compete with something else outside of them. Um, and I think that's just what was really interesting and stood out here. And that's just something I feel of relevance for some of you when you're connecting into your intuition. This is not about other things, other people. And what you choose next is so much about you, Pisces, so much about you. And I feel that very, very strongly. And it's time to do you. It really is. This is like a powerful turning point for you, especially over this next week to really hone in to those parts that are, that you're feeling called to go do. And anyone who's trying to hold you back is doing it on their own agenda and not, and not, if they're not being supportive, just, yeah, pay attention. Okay. Pay attention. All right. What else do we need to know with this energy? Thank you, spirit. King of water, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. That's my heart, well, heartfelt advice to you, friend. <laughs> so king of water. Let's see if this is an energy coming on in for you or someone that you get to work with or if this is just you representing you. Let's have a look. Six of earth. So that's got to do with your finances. Finances are highlighted right now in terms of what's next. So this is talking about time, money, effort. It's also talking about um, new opportunities relating to your career as well. So something that may be coming in. What else do we need to know? Ten of air. This is talking about the end of a difficult situation. I like this. So whatever's coming on in, if there has been concerns around money or around something, um, I'm just getting balancing out or working out. I feel like um, this energy is the confirmation that if there have been challenges, this is what's coming in. And I think that showed up in your reading yesterday. 
Um, yeah. So I'm drinking my coffee. My daughter's the sweetest. She makes me a coffee every morning. Sets it all up for me. Some people's hearts, right? All right. Then you've got release. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. So this is the death energy card. So this is interesting. You've got these two energies together. Okay, so when we've got the Ten of Air and then the Release, there's definitely something that's coming to a strong end. But it's you receive this first that helps support this ending of something. So I feel like this is going to be a catalyst for you to finally get the strength to be like either ending a situation or a situation coming to an end or acknowledging that just what's possible for you, okay? For some of you, I do feel there's a relationship or situation ending and I do feel there's also this new start that's coming either with a person, with work or something like that, an offer, an opportunity that's allowing you to free yourself from whatever's happened or put you in that situation. And it's very supportive. There's something new to move into. Let's get more on this King of Water. Okay. Okay. I did feel it and I told you, Ace of Water is showing up with a King of Water. So there's definitely something meaningful, passionate that is showing up here. I'm just going to show you again, just in case you needed to see it. So this is the Ace of Water and the King of Water. Okay. So this can be um, a current relationship that's deepening for you. You know, you may be reconnecting on a deeper level. Someone's opening up their heart a little more or wanting to show you that side of them. Um, it's, it's interesting too, because this card specifically is talking about intuition, enhanced intuition. Overrate your intuition is showing up, but it's also the spark of hustle. So there's something that you're feeling in here to get, I feel, more connected to where you're meant to be, where you're meant to be going. Six of Earth. Another Ace. Ace of Fire. So there's definitely a passionate, exciting new beginning. Someone could be coming in to give to this connection or to give to you, Pisces, that um, you've been waiting for a little bit. And it's, it's interesting because I'm getting to, with these two energies, and if I can pick it up, because you have the back, getting back to elemental and, oh my goodness gracious, I'm trying to pick up the cards, sorry guys. And this energy, the, the sacred flow of yes, I feel this is kind of letting you know, the more that you take care of yourself, Again, getting into nature, running, walking, whatever it is that's going to get you outside. And it's not, it's, I don't feel it's outside with people. It's outside connecting to yourself and connecting to the earth, spirit, um, God, whatever your higher power source is. It's like that freedom. And maybe too, it's not listening to anything. It's you and things around you. Okay. Um, there's something there about no sound. Just connect to what's around you intentionally. Hear the water, you know, trickling or the ocean waves or hear the birds and hear the crispness of, you know, perhaps as you're walking through something. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot about, um, what's the word? Is it the aesthetics, the sound, the, the environment that you, you to embrace that's going to fuel, um, like you get to soak that in. And because with these two energies also showing up with this six of earth and ace of fire, I feel whoever or whatever's coming in, there's something about taking care of yourself and just getting into the flow and allowing things to be. What is meant for you is naturally going to come your way. If something is confusing you, you know, when it, when it comes to spirit, when it comes to God, God says that things that are meant for you aren't meant to confuse you. Okay, so take that for what for what it is, meaning that person or that situation shouldn't be presenting things that make you feel confused. And if they are, then, okay, what conversation needs to be had? And if there's no clarity with that, then really ask yourself, is this meant for you? Okay, um, 
you've learned a lot of lessons, Pisces, over the, a period of time, okay? And a significant period. And you know what I'm talking about. You know your journey, okay? There's also still something here this week that I feel someone may, from your past, someone that you know, may try to twist things a little bit. I don't know why that's coming in um, and confuse you. I don't know why that's coming in. So maybe the way someone uses their words, it might just kind of have you spinning around a bit with whatever they're showing up or whatever they're talking and confuse you. But again, asking questions is going to be important, but you've got new opportunities coming in. Okay. And I feel whatever this energy is with the King of Water and the Ace of Water, you're feeling the love, you're feeling the energy of that, you're feeling the openness and heart-centered place of that, there's this balance coming in. So if this is a newer connection or a connection that needed to deepen um, and you needed some form of clarity on what they're giving here or how they're going to show up, I feel you're getting a big yes, okay? And yes is on that card, the sacred flow of yes. In addition to that, um, I feel there's a lot of passion also behind it with this Ace of Fire. This is work-related. Um, you're going to be very, very pleased, okay? Ten of Air, what do we need to know? Ten of Air, what do we need to know? It's given us two. So we've got the King of Air and the Awakening Energy. So you could have ended a situation with an air energy. So this is also the um, Hanged Man, the Awakening Energy, which is talking about looking things from a different perspective. So this could be something that you have ended something, like a situation with an air energy or in a place of mm. I'm trying to connect into this air energy because this energy normally operates a lot here okay they operate a lot more from the way that they think and try to sometimes separate the way that they feel. They want to make decisions on how they think. It's got to make sense to them, okay? So they usually, they can, when there's meaning behind it, they can, but most of the time the air energies are really thinking things through to make sense of their choices, their decisions, and whatever else. In addition to that, um, there's something here that I feel with this air energy or this situation that you're in that you're thinking about as well. And so interesting, the clock is 10, 10. So connecting into 10, 10, um, it's talking about endings. Card 10. Yeah. There's something about endings, but interestingly too, I'm getting world energy. So closing out and endings and new beginnings, but this, there's an air energy that I feel is really thinking about a situation with you. This is the energy that's coming through. Someone's thinking about a situation with you. Maybe they're sitting back to reflect. Um, yeah, there's something that they're definitely reflecting on here. All right, let's get more on this release energy. Another 10, the wheel. So maybe that's like something that's destined for you, okay? So whatever had to be released, whatever you had to move on from, whatever had to end or whatever changed is changing on purpose, changing for a reason. There's something bigger, um, more meaningful behind it. There's also, as we know, when there's endings or something that has happened, um, there's usually lessons, growth that comes with this as well. So let's get one more on the wheel energy. the star. So this is getting you closer to where you want to be. Okay. Um, it's talking about positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. There's happy times. This is Aquarian energy. So maybe you've been dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you've got Scorpio here too, Pisces. Um, like I said, air energy. Okay. 
Let's dive in a little bit more and see what spirit wants you to know. to know about this king of water. Oh, oh, a lot more than I anticipated. Let's take it. You have got a solid, something solid coming in with this king of pentacles. So again, this could be work related or someone who's very stable, um, very nurturing, very grounded. Like they're more of a certain energy. And there's, see, this is something to do with work, putting effort in. Um, focusing on a profession of some kind. And then you've got uh, the magician. So if you've been wanting or calling in or manifesting a certain type of work, um, certain type of financial opportunity, um, wanting to kick up, pick up, um, again, yeah, I'm getting like the le leveling up is what the way it's showing me and probably the easiest way to explain it. Um, but whoever this king of water is, they, they might work a fair bit, put a lot of effort into their work. Um, but I, it's like you've, you've manifested them. Share more on this magician energy. Oh. You may not see it straight away, but there's a union here with this energy. Or maybe you don't even know that how this person feels about you. Maybe they've been calling in something like this or you've been wanting to call in something like this. I know the moon is very present when it's dark, okay? But I'm getting, and I have never had this, but it's coming through, so I need to share it. I feel like this person may be like not awake yet to this connection or you may not be awake yet to this connection and what I mean by that this is yeah I've, if it's not awake it's it's like I feel like someone's just gonna have like Oh my gosh, like, I don't know, maybe the way that you meet this person or you come into connection with this person, it's like you see each other or there, there's just something that is just like, whoa, kind of, kind of love at first sight, I guess you can say. It's like you meet this person or this situation comes comes up and it's just like, yeah, this is, I know this is where I'm meant to be. This is who I'm meant to do it with. It's just, and it's a very rare thing. And I think that's what is may be really interesting about this um, and maybe intuitively you may know this but you might ignore it as well because maybe you don't think it's possible but it's also something that's been manifested here what else do we need to know about this moon energy wow <laughs> so you've got the king's counterpart, the queen of pentacles, and you've got the knight of cups. So there's definitely someone here. They may, you may have met them already. You might just be connecting, talking. Um, or if there's, again, if this is not a counterpart, this could be like a work opportunity, someone that you're meeting um, in terms of a situation. You could meet this person through work as well, but I feel whatever work that you're doing or if your person already is um, is saying, hang on. Okay. Let me just take a couple of steps back because it's given me so much information. All right. So for some of you, you could be connecting with this person in a business connection. That is just like, I've been waiting for someone that can present themselves in a certain way that complements who I am as a person. Okay. Um, it's like you can bring the best out in each other. You're both willing to put the work in. You're both willing to put the effort in and meet each other, okay, with your cups full. Um, you've also got the Knight of Cups, which to me is also, again, some offer. Someone is going to express something about how they feel. So if this is a new connection that you've met, um, 
like I said, it could be something or someone unexpected. Maybe you're talking to them right now. We'll get more into it. But I just, yeah, I'm just getting some sense here that there's something deeper that's happening here. There's something more alive that's happening here. Um, yeah, there's something nice. All right, what else do we need to know with this Ace of Water? You've got the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So, it, see, it's like you don't believe it. You don't want to believe it. Maybe they don't want to believe it. Same thing, it's like, bam. It's like, poof, <laughs> it's arrived. And you're like, yep. Yeah. I know some, there's something else going on here. That's how you're thinking. Something else is going on here. What don't I know? I need to figure out what this is. What don't I know? Um, okay. Share more on this Seven of Swords energy. So you've got the strength. Share more on this Seven of Swords energy. Yeah. So what is going on? Share more on who this Seven of Swords energy is. Share more on who this Seven of Swords energy is. Okay, you've got the Temperance coming in, number 14. You've got eight strength, eight um, of swords. So whatever this is, in two parts, I can see... There's something here about the strength and the way that the cards are laid out. Um, the Seven of Swords is showing in the middle. Above you, which is in your head space, it's asking you to um, stay in your confidence, stay in your strength of knowing who you are, okay, importantly. Um, I do feel this is also trusting in your intuition. And below you is this Eight of Swords. So... This is not serving you, whatever this energy is or whatever you're getting into. It seems like there's something that you're worried about. And the question is, do you need to be worried about it? This is about timing. We had something about timing as well. The sacred flow of yes, I feel is important. Um, you're on the right path here. This is also a positive time of change. But there's something about timing. And I don't know why timing's coming in again, but there's... I don't think we got a timing card, but I'm just getting a very strong sense of timing is going to be important. Temperance is patience. Something is working, being worked right now. See how the cups are different? It's like two different people own two different energies that are bringing this together to work out. So this is working in your favor, but there's something here about the strength, uh, the, the seven of swords that's coming in. Let me get a couple more cards on what this representation of the swords is because I feel this is someone's head and I don't know if this is the truth. Does that make sense? Like I feel naturally you feel that someone's up to something or that something's going to happen. Shit. So we've got the three of pentacles with the ace of wands. Sorry, not the ace of wands, the page of wands. Shemel on this seven of swords. What do we need to know about this seven of swords? Yeah, you're stressing out. What are you stressing out about? You got the ten of cups again with the nine of swords. So this could be the person you're dealing with. What, there's something stressing you out. I don't know. Is this someone coming on in? Because this is related to the Ace of Cups. This is meant to be something beautiful coming towards you. You feel it with this Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is confirmed twice with this connection of this Ace of Cups. So I don't know if it's overwhelming that you're feeling. Um, but what? It, there's something you're worried about here. And I... It, Are you worried? 
You could be worried about a commitment. You could be worried about the content of something. And when I say content, I don't know if there's a contract, um, something that's being presented. Someone wants to talk to you about something, share something with you. Maybe you're not sure if someone's feeling the same way and that's worrying you. Share more on what the Nine of Swords is about. What do we need to know? Okay. <laughs> um, what are you worried about, friend? Oh, look, someone's got my, my hairstyle going on right now. <laughs> um... So you've got the Page of Swords that are showing up with the Nine of Swords. So something that you're perhaps seeing or uncovering or you find out or intuitively you're worried about. But it's intuitively. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, give me one sec. Share more on this Tower Energy. Okay, share more on this high priestess. What is the high? Okay. I should be going into the extended. I guess I'll just give you an extended here. Okay. Okay. So the tower energy, you've got the five of wands with the six of wands. So it, there could be some conflict or competition or battle in choice, okay? Like trying to get to the finish line here, trying to cross the line of whatever this situation is. So it's like you're worried here that, but I don't know if you're really worried or if it's something that you're just, you're thinking a lot about. So because you're thinking about this, you're thinking of every scenario which may not be supporting you. Maybe you're also concerned about the path forward or the strategy forward to make something work because there's some concern here that you're not sure if that's going to happen. Um, because you've also got the tower energy, but it's showing that there's going to be success here because it it's showing up with the six of wands. So... I don't know if you, I'm getting like someone's going to declare something to you, okay? And I think intuitively you know that, but I think there's a part of you that's scared that this person is going to retract or rescind something is what I'm feeling. So that's a tower energy. Yeah, okay. So the high priestess energy. You've got three of swords with the magician the four of wands with the death energy let's get a little bit more on what this because the message that's coming through here guys that you know how sometimes you manifest yeah you do not sometimes, you manifest where you're at, <laughs> right? Energetically. Um, so if you've been going through some heartache, if you've been, if you've been through a period of your life that has been, you know, a little bit deceptive, a situation that you've been in has been a little bit deceptive. Um, you may have manifested someone that is going through a heartbreak um, that's working or ending a marriage. And maybe that's what you're worried about. Maybe you're worried, like, it, is, is, that, is that real? Is that true? Because I think there's a part of you that is a little concerned about someone perhaps going back to something else or going back, yeah, like 
making a different choice. That's what's on the bottom of the deck. And then the hanged one. But then you got the ace of wands and six of cups. And then the king of cups again. So I do feel, and then the king of swords again. Oh my God. So I feel with this connection and just being up front, you and them, I think, or this opportunity that's coming in, you guys feel very connected to each other. Like there's some soul energy, some recognition. Like you're, so, again, it's like your souls know each other. Okay. And I think that came through in yesterday's read as well. So there's something here about that. Let's get a little bit more on what this four of wands is. Okay. So this person or this situation is definitely communication happening. You've got both the page of wands and the eight of wands. Page of swords is also showing up. So um, over here, someone's probably going to share what's on their mind. I do feel that there's going to be some communication around a commitment. Again, I don't know if this is a new commitment or wanting to talk to you about ending an, a commitment. Share more on what this communication is about. Yeah. Someone is communicating something that they're wrapping up. So this person, again, look, three of pentacles with the um, seven of cups. I feel this person thinks about you, Pisces, or this offer or opportunity in play right now, whatever this is, if this is a relationship or work, there's definitely consideration here. There's a lot of thought about this, about how this situation is making someone feel or where something fits or does this fit or how do I build and create with this person? Because it's like there's also some newness here. What else do we need to know about the four of wands? You've got the four of wands. Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to make an offer, okay, um, or start building in terms of commitment. What action is this person going to take towards Pisces? They're definitely going to be moving forward. They see moving forward with you. Um, it's just, it may just be a little bit slow. The temperance energy is coming up a fair bit. What else? Yeah, slow, solid offer. I think that's really nice. What's the final advice for Pisces regarding this situation and connection? Four of Swords. What else do we need to know? Knight of Cups with the world. So... Okay, share one more about this energy. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so what I feel is happening here with this Four of Swords, Spirit's asking you, even amongst this or whatever is happening, it's okay to take time out for yourself. It's okay to take care of yourself here, Pisces. Um, I feel at the end of the day that things come at the right time. The world energy is about opportunity. It's about new beginnings. As we know, I, I think there's so much focus out there at the world. It's coming to a close. It's coming to an end, end of a cycle. Damn right, ends of cycle. Because what happens when there's newness in, when there's opportunity in, when we get to explore more, when we get to go after the things that we want? It's the new, successful, pleasurable, satisfying opportunities. And that's what this is. There's something or someone coming ahead to say, I kind of, this is how I connect with you. This is how I see you. This is the potential, you know, of where I see my life going. You know, that's what I really feel here. But initially, um, what I'm getting from this, though, is just going to be a slow movement forward because there are certain things that need to be released. This is something divinely connected. And I think you guys know this. This is something divinely meant to be, okay? You can't see it. You may not see it. They may not be expressing it. You may not be expressing it, but you know there's something deeper here. 
I'm going to need to get more on this. Share more on this moon energy. What do we need to know here? Just give me a second. Okay, and then the Hierophant energy. I think this person um, or the situation that you're dealing with, this person may be feeling a little bit um, scared, stuck to move away from something or from an older connection, but ultimately I've, I'm just getting a sense here. There's a bit of confusion for this person. We've got the two of wands and the eight of swords as well um, with this commitment. And this is also coming up as well. This person might be battling a situation of leaving something to move forward with you, but it's got nothing specifically to do because of you. I need you to know that. And I think this per there's a lot of gentleness and a lot of heart-centered um, way of being for this person. What I just think is happening though is that there is a commitment, a connection, a current position that they're in that hasn't potentially finalized yet and that's a key part. I think they know how they feel about you but they probably also are looking at perhaps their life and where they're at and I know sometimes that's not easy to hear and it's like, well, then they don't deserve it. But there's something else going on here that I feel they're moving, they're taking steps to move from. But it's not an easy thing if they're committed somewhere. There's more to this story. I know there's more to this story. <sighs> there's more to this. Just give us some final guidance, Spirit, because I know that there's more to this. Yeah, there's some conflict this person's dealing with, I think, here, Pisces. So you might find that they withdraw a little bit or they're really trying to... Because um, with this Hierophant energy and the Hermit, it's like they're going through a spiritual journey. What else? Got the Eight of Earth again, which showed up. What's this per... I was asking what's this person's intention. They want to work with you on this. I do feel they need, they may not be telling you again how they're actually feeling about you specifically, but you obviously will get to know this person if you don't already, or they're going to share some things. They could share their contemplation with you. How I think this person may open up about how they're feeling, um, about a situation, about their feelings, because there's something here that they're acknowledging where they're at is missing and they want to move towards this, okay? And a commitment. But I'm also seeing this person's a little bit scared. I think they are a deep thinker um, and they're looking at their plans forward. But I think they're feeling a little bit trapped right now. It could be the situation that they're in. They're feeling a little stuck, whether contractual, um, obligation, stuff like that. But I'm definitely seeing movement forward. This person wants to move forward. But right now, um, we're seeing the wind come through. I want to be clear on that. We're seeing the wind come through stability-wise, career-wise, financially for you, Pisces. But in addition to deepening a connection, there's still some things to be worked through. But there's definitely, and I'm saying definitely because the energy, I feel it. I mean, the cards keep verifying this, but energetically, it's like you guys just know. And I don't know any other way to explain it. It's like you guys just know. But there's also the understanding of where life is now and being able to have deeper conversations about it because I do feel there's going to be a conversation about how someone feels or opening up conversation to understand more of where this situation is at. So um, it just, it feels so warm and cozy. At the end of the day, you've got to 
you know, do what's best for you. But I feel spirit's asking you to just keep taking care of you, whatever that looks like. Self-care, self-love, like I said, get, getting outside, doing things that just make you feel good, um, Pisces. So I'm going to leave that with you. This was a lot longer than I anticipated. But um, yeah, love you guys. Hope you enjoy. Bye.